Tomorrow, guys, is the the big day. Vindicating Trump opens in, well, it's closing in now on 850 theaters this weekend. But I should mention that even though tomorrow, Friday, is the official opening of the movie, quite a few theaters are showing it today. There are showings in the day, some showings just at night. It's kind of a kind of an early get out the gate time of type of screening for a movie and it's quite normal it's not unique to our film so you can be an early bird and be one of the first people to see vindicating trump in the theater today but if you can't make sure to go this weekend this weekend is is really critical for the film we've put it in a lot of theaters I want to emphasize that this is a film that is made for the theater. Obviously, if you can't see it in the theater, there'll be other ways to see it. But it's completely different to see a film, let's say, on a computer, let alone on a phone. Uh, but even on a big screen TV, it's completely different than seeing it in the theater. Not only is the theater a much larger screen, not only is there superior surround sound, not only are the acoustics um, made for that kind of um, format, but you can see it with like-minded people who are wrestling with the same kind of issues. And so seeing it sort of just me or even just the two of us is totally different from seeing it in a, a large group. And I think you know from my earlier films that the reaction in these films is really telling. It is not uncommon for the whole theater to break into applause. Sometimes there's like a stunned silence at the end. Uh, and all of this is a way of conveying the emotional as well as the intellectual, psychological power of the film. Theaters are a, I'm going to call them a new megaphone. They're an end run around the media, which is a way of saying they are an end run around the censorship. You can't be blocked in the theater. You can't be interrupted. Uh, you can't really effectively be disrupted either. Uh, and the reason is really pretty simple. Theaters are in the real estate business. They're in the business of filling seats. It's in their interest to have people buy tickets. And so theater managers, theater owners have no tolerance for anyone who's trying to prevent that from happening any more than a manager of, let's say, a grocery store or a mall is going to be happy or, or going to be tolerant of someone who's trying to disrupt people from getting to the mall. That's not going to happen. 